This is amazing. And I think that it's, it's certainly the way forward. I think that it makes just so much sense. Um, the problem is, is that they're really hard to make, right? You, all those things that I just showed you, they, they sort of show the smattering of patterns. And it's like, all right, uh, it's hard to go full bore on them. Uh, but I do a lot of consulting work, and I'm in these places, and a lot of places that have an existing style guide or have a pattern library or whatever, they have like dedicated people working on the thing. And in a lot of cases, you know, smaller shops, quicker projects, other things, uh, you know, other complications, organizational hurdles, that's a luxury, right? Not everybody has an extra person lying around that they could, you know, dedicate their time to sort of tending this garden. Uh, they're often created after the fact, right? Here's our beautiful thing, and let's go through and sort of cherry pick out these different patterns. Um, and they're often too abstract, you know? You, you see this whole spray of, of sort of elements and stuff, and you're like, oh, that's nice. But it's, it's sort of hard to, to sort of bridge that gap between, well, here's our final product, and here's this very abstract list of stuff. They're often only seen as a, as a tool for designers and developers, right? And it's like, oh, cool. I'll, I'll be over here, you know, <laughs> paying the bills. Uh, you know, go have fun with that. Um, <clears throat> And they're often uh, incomplete or only serving the present needs, right? Only the stuff that's currently on the site. Um, and also, they're, they're sort of like lacking this, this methodology, lacking this sort of sense of structure. And uh, this is what I see as, as sort of frustrating and, and sort of what uh, got me thinking about that is that it's sort of like this arbitrary clumping of stuff together. And it's just this sort of spray of... of, uh, of components and links in no particular order and stuff like that. Um, so that's what got me thinking about, uh, you know, atomic design principles and, and, and what, you know, what we can do to sort of establish a better way of thinking about design systems. And I'm like, well, surely we're not alone in this. Surely we're not the only one creating systems out there. Uh, and, and where I ended up landing was thinking about chemistry. This is a <laughs> this is an odd slide, <laughs> to say the least. But um, uh, I, had a, I had a high school chemistry teacher. There we go, looping it back to high school. See that initial video? I had a crazy high school career. But uh, <laughs> my, my chemistry teacher was this like, crazy dude. He was a sniper. 